So today we are going to make brownie bites. And as you can see, we have a cup of raw walnuts, a cup of packed medjool dates pitted and destemmed, third of a cup of unsweetened cocoa, and we're going to be doing one tablespoon of real maple syrup. We're going to be rolling our brownie bites in some chopped raw walnuts as well. We're going to be doing it all in the food processor. First thing we need to do is throw in the walnuts, toss in the dates. These are tightly packed in there. Break them up a little. Add the third of a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Now we don't add the maple syrup yet. We want to get this partially blended before we start add drizzling in that tablespoon of maple syrup. Now it's going to get loud, so I'm not going to be able to tell you. I'm just going to show you when I do that. drizzle in that maple syrup while it's going that's the best way to incorporate it and you see we've got chunkiness now what we're looking for is smooth and shiny depending on your food processor that's going to take 30 seconds to a minute so bear with me while I make some more noise <laughs> rolled itself into a ball and you see how it's smooth and shiny you can even do a little bit more there's a few walnut bites left in there but that is good enough for me and all we're going to do is take a little ball roll 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 in our hands and then roll it in some finely chopped raw walnuts and there we have a brownie bite. I also like to leave a few smooth. It's more like a truffle in that case. So just roll, 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 roll. We're not looking for perfection here. They're going to be gone so fast, it's not going to matter. And there's a smooth one. I have um, on the recipe some other options. You can roll it in coconut, you can add more chocolate, although they're very sweet on their own. They have a lovely caramelly consistency, and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching.